Hello, my name is John Helms, and I'm here to talk to you about the fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is hey. Now, hey means a few things. It means breath. It's that sound, hey. It's very breathy. It means life or light. And there's a gap here, and you can see that gap symbolizes where God breathed life into Adam. So it's breath, it's life, the breath of life. All these meanings are always related. Now, in addition to breath, life, it also means thoughts, words, and actions. And the gap there symbolizes the gap of time that there should be between our thoughts, our words, and our actions. When we allow that gap of time between our thoughts, our words, and our actions to line up with God's Word, then the Spirit is able to empower us in a way that isn't possible when we're too impulsive, when we're just acting on feelings alone. So, allow that gap of time. The gematria, or the number for hey, is five. And that's interesting because there's a relationship between five and 50. Five, hey, is the spirit, it's the breath, and 50 is the number for signs and miracles. The, the Pentecost came on the 50th day. There were 50 days from the Passover to the law being given to Moses at Mount Sinai. So many examples of that 50 being the number of signs and wonders. And this is five. This is the breath, the life, the spirit breathing life. And you can see that the spirit, the Holy Spirit empowers us for signs and wonders and miracles. Such a beautiful relationship. None of this could be planned by man. This is God's foreknowledge and wisdom all the way down to the letter. That's why I love learning about Hebrew and the alphabet because God has packed it with so much. And each letter tells us more and more about the nature of God and our relationship to him. Now listen to this. I love this. I never understood this passage until I learned about the letter Hey. Abraham wasn't always called Abraham. His name was Abram. And he was already an old man when he got the promise from God that he would have a son. And God changed his name to Abraham. See, Abram, it means blessed father, but he was an old man and had no children. In a way, his name, Abram, was the shame of his being because his identity as blessed father was not fulfilled. It was not maximized because he had no children. But when God came in, God changed his name. And I used to sit there and wonder, why go from Abram to Abraham, just adding an H? What does that really do? Well, then I learned that the hey is the letter that God added to Abram's name to make him Abraham. And the hey means to breathe life, the spirit breathing life. Just like God breathed into Adam to bring him to life, God breathed the spirit into Abraham to equip him and empower him for his great calling. God can do the same thing for us. Also, Sarah, she was Sarai. God added the hay. He added the spirit, the breath of life, and it changed everything. So, the last point I want to point out about the, the hay is it can look like a broken vessel. And, of course, we all know God can use broken vessels. Countless stories in the Bible God is not using perfect people. He's using broken vessels, just like you and me. God can breathe life into us. So, I hope you like the letter, hey. 
I hope you enjoy learning more and more about God. May God bless you. He loves you. I love you. Have a wonderful day.